Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. Uh, I'm just going to give you the first preview of our XPath um, product output. So, so far we are learning this XPath Finder and we are uh, uh, learning from the videos, whatever I have given to you. And so I have just created the prototype and it's working prototype actually. So I have uh, uh, figured it out. So how to find the different types of XPath and also I have uh, given some of the UI to it. So it's going to be first preview. Don't uh, judge the product now itself. So please um, wait until the final release. But I just want to give you the quick review like uh, how this is going to look and what are the features we're going to expect from this product. So I'm hoping for this product very much from you guys. I believe you guys are going to support me for sure. Uh, let's see the product first and then we'll talk about it. So let's inspect. And here we have this litex path and here whenever we are going to select any of the element from the DOM so it's going to give you this kind of X path so it's not only going to give you the X path it's also going to find if the element tag name is unique or not if it has class based X path it has text based or even it's going to give you the X path based on the parent now let us see some another element maybe I can just go to this place and if I go and select this input tag so here you can see this ID is of course unique and this is class based or collection based and we have different types of uh, approximately it can give off minimum 3 and maximum up to 15x path so I have built around 18 pattern as of now but uh, 15 are gonna work for all the locators again it varies from the different websites um, but of course if there is any bug I'm happy to solve it resolve it of course you guys have to support me for that so this is just a uh, first preview I can say not even uh, I have decided the, decided the UI till now but this is gonna look something like this and uh, there is a section called utilities so as of now there is nothing here but trust me you're gonna enjoy the features whatever I'm going to bring it here so I have a great idea about this and I believe that of course I can do that so I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy the features here so I don't want to reveal this as of now because you know the competitions um, of course our product is uh, open source the source code you can find in my github repository so I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out um, but some of the features I don't want to show it up now itself I'm just hoping for the best and I wanted this product at least go uh, beyond uh, like it can reach to every uh, QA engineers so that is what my intention um, within August 15th probably you will get the entire product uh, with of course source code of course it's open source um, this is just a first preview so don't judge uh, please do let me know in the comments or in the LinkedIn if you like the UI as of now uh, if you see noticed I didn't add the logo as well so this is not the of course not the final X path UI so but of course you're gonna get something like this and of course you're gonna get the snippets snippets not only for java it's going to be for each and every language and of course it's going to support page object model and your custom framework like if you're using the craft or uh, any robot framework something like that of course you're gonna get snippets for that as well so i'm looking for the very best uh, maybe uh, definitely you guys are gonna like this product uh, like this and uh, please do support so again i'm telling you don't judge as of now this product uh, because this is just a earlier preview so we are getting only few expert patterns and the ui is not finalized yet but the prototype is ready so whenever we are going to click on some in element it's going to give us and of course we uh, can see it's able to find uh, most of the expert some of the expert are including of the uh, like collections based of course you wanna uh, configure that so if you don't want of course you can remove that so it's going to be more customizable customizable and of course it's open source so uh, you can of course take the source code and modify or you can contribute to the product as well and if you even don't know how to contribute or what is the source code behind this what is the logic behind this don't worry we have all the tutorials for that and there are upcoming videos are going to hit to you uh, very soon so um, enjoy the product as well as the code and of course you are i am very happy if you are going to um, contribute from now itself um, um, that's it guys so we'll talk about this maybe in future video i am I'm, I'm sure that it's going to be very hit 
uh, let's see let's see if uh, what's the future of this product going to be thanks guys thanks for watching see you in the next one Bye.